Ahoy mateys! Are you wondering which card you need for video editing? Today I'll be sharing my hands-on experience with two graphics cards that might be perfect for your setup. Make sure to subscribe if you love content like this. In my last video, I mentioned there that I won't upgrade in the next 5 years. I'm expecting to use this machine in the next 5 years, then I'm planning to get- But yeah, things have changed. I was using the GTX 1660 Super and you can check out my previous video about that build. It handled 1080p exporting editing just fine. On occasional 4K footages, I relied on proxies and that worked fine too. Everything was okay when I'm using Premiere Pro and I wasn't really planning to spend more on upgrades. But when using After Effects, since it's really part of my workflow, the lag was real. Then earlier this year, I landed a gig editing podcast videos. That's when I realized I need to speed up my export times. Exporting was the bottleneck that held me back. I was dealing with 4K footages at 29.97 FPS. Even exporting just a minute of video took nearly an hour. After just a week of editing for this real estate company, so I did decided it was time to upgrade. After some online research, I went with the RTX 4060. It's more affordable now compared to last year and I bought it for around 18,000 pesos. And wow, I really noticed the difference. My export times were cut in half. Rendering and playback improved as well. The 4060 has 8GB of VRAM and it gets utilized during exports. Here's how the two graphics cards stack up against each other. To wrap it up, the 1660 Super is solid if you're not working with 4K exports. But if you want to future-proof your setup, the 4060 is the way to go. Just remember, you'll need a fast CPU like the i5 or i7 to get the most out of it. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Drop a comment if you have any questions.